Today we're going to talk about two new Doctor Who books that were just announced that are part of the Time Lord Victorious multi-platform experience. I'm very excited to take a look at the artwork and talk about these new books and how exciting they look today on the Doctor Who Guide. The best box set that you can buy for Doctor Who Hey there, welcome to the Doctor Who Guide, a community where it's all about helping each other grow our knowledge, collection, and connection with other Doctor Who fans. I'm your host, Alex Patterson, and if that sounds like something you want to be a part of, then definitely consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell because we have new videos and live streams coming out every single week. And today we're talking about the Time Lord Victorious multi-platform tie-in event. It is a theme, a series that is happening across books, comics, audios, escape rooms, theater experiences, audios. So if you want to learn more about what Time Lord Victorious is, I've done a video about it, link up in the card up above and in the description down below. Now the two books are Doctor Who, The Night, The Fool and The Dead by Steve Cole. And the second book is All Flesh is Grass by Una McCormack. So, the artwork for both of these is absolutely stunning. Looking at The Knight, The Fool, and The Dead, Lee Binding has done brilliant artwork with these two books, and I'm so excited about them. Looks so we, like we have the Tenth Doctor for The Knight and The Fool and The Dead, and an Ood and a creepy villainous creature. So I'm very excited to, to find out more about this time in the Tenth Doctor's life, when he's going a little bit crazy, he's taking things into his own hands, doing his own thing unchecked. And uh, so that's gonna be very, very exciting. And then the second book has the 8th, 9th, and 10th Doctors on the cover there with some Daleks, and it's just so exciting, so I'm very, very excited for that. Steve Cole and Una McCormack are no strangers to the Doctor Who novel universe. I just recently read a trilogy of 13th Doctor novels. Molten Heart and Combat Magics were written by Una McCormack and Steve Cole. Steve Cole is very good at writing a vivid Doctor Who story. At times I found myself rereading sentences just because I would get lost in thinking about the metaphor, but as a result that book was definitely the most vivid out of the three, so I'm very excited for him to be writing another novel and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what he does with The Tenth Doctor. Una McCormack writing a three doctor story. That's going to be really, really fun. And I enjoyed her book. While I would say that the Combat Magics was the best written and most interesting plot out of all three of those last trilogy, I would say that her book, Molten Heart, I enjoyed the most out of the trilogy. So I'm excited to see what she writes in uh, this next novel. Sometimes when I'm making a Doctor Who news video, I get sort of frustrated because I find videos that pop up so quickly and they have such great quality and they're so well researched that I think man why bother to make my own stuff uh, when stuff like that exists out there and I would only be uh, reinventing the wheel so I want to give a huge shout out and send you to another video it's by Philip Hawkins about this very subject he does such a great job at speculating about what these books will be about and giving you just all the information you need to know about these releases so really I did this news video mostly to promote his video he's got a brilliant Doctor Who channel check it out Philip Hawkins and that video of his about the two Time Lord Victorious books announced will be in the card up above and in the description down below definitely check that out because it's a great news video so big shout out to Phil and if you like these videos you can support the Doctor Who guide monthly over on patreon.com and you can also support us on PayPal and by using the Amazon links in the description down below those are affiliate links that cost no extra to use but we do make a small commission whenever you click on those links and buy something on Amazon so thank you to everybody currently using those links and supporting us over on Patreon thanks so much for watching keep growing your knowledge collection and connections stay safe and I will see you in the next video or live stream bye